Today I am going to change my tire change station over to a new pallet because the other one rotted and then on Duke's truck he needs a spare tire. And we're going to take it up north so I want that done before we go up there and get on the logging roads. Uh, so I bought a rim at a salvage yard and I have a couple of wheels that came off or tires that came off my trailer. They're the same size. Uh, I wouldn't use them long term but they're good for a spare. So we're going to put that on today. I'm going to show you how to do that with fire. Uh, working under the overhang because it's raining. So. Let's get at it. So now when I'm putting pressure on it and twisting downward, if I twist back it's going to hit that beam, if I hit, it hits this one on the front and I've got it lagged into like a 4x4 four four underneath there. So that should last a while. Alright, time to go get the rim. So I got looking at that rim I bought and there was no Schrader valve in it, in the stem. You can see all the way through. So I just went to Napa and got another one, 60 cents. So now we got to force the new tire down in there. And uh, I always feel like one direction goes a little bit easier than the other. But we'll see. I don't do this very often. So you want something flammable, you want to spray a decent amount in there, but not too much. And you just light it. Work. 
again. Warning. Too much. What happened was I was using the old, the end of an old can of spray, and I think it was mostly CO2 or air or whatever they use in it. When I bought the new can of brake cleaner, a lot more of a flammable agent came out. That was intense. Not gonna lie. So if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.